Hey guys, welcome to another quick tutorial on my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to replace an image on the timeline in Filmora 11, but keep the effect, animation, transformation of the current image. Okay, actually, this is a question from one of my subscribers. He's Alexander Messala about two days ago. But now I just have time to make a quick tutorial for you. Okay, so let's go to my computer screen. All right, so now I'm inside Filmora 11 and supposing that I have two images here on the timeline. So in the first image, I have a transform option here. I just make it bigger and then I can move it to the center of the screen. And it is a transform. In the next option, we want to have some special effect in this image. All we need to do is to go to the effect tab and then maybe I'm going to add this one, chromatic aberration. Just right and drop it directly to the image. And also I want to add a glow uh, to the image. Okay. And now we have special effect and transform. And the next thing we want to have animation. But unfortunately with Filmora 11, we cannot copy the animation keyframe. So the only animation we can apply to the image that we can copy is the motion. So to apply a motion to an image, we can just double click at the image here and then click at animation. And now we want to fire preset motion legacy. It is right here. For example, I can just see like this one, the photo spin number three, just double click at the motion to apply it for our current image. And now we have this image. Very interesting, right? And the next thing we want to replace this image with another one. Okay, to do that, we can go back to our stock media. So I have some image here. For example, if I want to use this one, all I need to do is to press and hold my Alt key on my keyboard. And then I can just click at the image and then drag it to the top of the image when we see a yellow button like this. And then we can replace it. Just release your mouth and the Alt key also. And now we can replace the image but keep the special effect and the transform or stuff like that inside. Okay, so that's easy, right? So that is how to replace an image, but keep the special effect animation and transformation of the current image. I hope this tutorial is helpful for you. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.